Thinly broke is such a green flag. Unfortunately, roses are red. So last time we talked, Gwyneth Westwood, the founder of my Not So Berry Challenge, stayed at home while her daughter and our heir, Rosalie Bastianich, got asked out to prom by her best friend turned boyfriend, Finley Broke. The two of them enjoying one of their few nights left as teenagers before having a heart to heart at the bluffs. Rosalie telling Finley the entire truth about her relationship with her father, Joseph Bastianich, and my, did Finley get an earful? But Rosalie left the conversation feeling great and exhausted from staying out literally all night. Finley walked her home and she immediately went upstairs to crash. She had to preserve her energy anyways because tonight she leaves for her three-day senior trip to Salvadorado with the rest of her senior class members, including Finley. Gwyneth was upstairs working on her logic skill, feeling guilty about how she snapped at Rosalie the night before. Don't stress Gwynny, you're automatically a better parent than Joseph. You actually feel remorse for your actions. Bella was downstairs, forcing herself to read a book since her phone got taken away. You seriously want to cloud gaze with that insect? Literally why do you care so much? Our founder tried hyping herself up in the bathroom, mainly to apologize to Rosalie and Bella for how tense she's been lately. It had nothing to do with them, it was only about Joseph, and it was wrong for her to take it out on them. She went and talked with Bella first after having a relaxing smoke, but she had a feeling that after the plans she has for tonight, she's gonna be a lot less tense. Oh Santos, I didn't know you and Bella were friends. But good for you, buddy, good for you. Um, excuse me. Sir? You've been kicked out, are you not aware? Literally what the fuck is he doing here? Well, Bells, you got your wish, LMAO. Did this man stop by for a visit just to crack a joke with Bella? Um. By then. Josef left right before Rosalie woke up. Thank goodness she didn't see him. It would have messed up her good mood all over again. She was a bit sad to be leaving high school, but was very excited to be going to college with Finley at her side. Speaking of college, Rosalie had made a decision about where she's attending and what she's studying. She'll be attending Foxbury Institute and pursuing a degree in history. She wishes to enter the politician career. Finley's words last night resonated with her. What he said was true. Rosalie cares about people. Putting up with her dad's bullshit for so long is proof. Going with Courtney James to give birth when she barely knew her was proof. Sacrificing becoming prom jester so she could see Finley win was proof. She wants to help people and make the world a better place for Sims who are struggling. She will have the power to do that as a politician. After doing a face mask and packing everything she needed for her senior trip, she decided to go downstairs to try to talk to her mother Gwyneth again. She hates how they've barely spoken over the past few days, and with everything that happened with Joseph. She really missed her mam. She needed her. Gwyneth needed and missed her just as much so. Rosalie eased her way into their conversation. She first brought up college, telling Gwyneth that she picked which university and what major. Gwyneth said, Said she'd miss Rosalie being so far away and hoped she'd visit on the weekends. Then Gwyneth asked about prom. Rosalie said it was so fun and mentioned how Finley won Jester. And that's when she remembered she hadn't told Gwyneth about her and Finley yet. So she decided now would be a good time. Her and Finley are now boyfriend and girlfriend. Gwyneth was so happy to hear that. She really likes Finley, and she could always tell there was a little something going on between the two of them. She was very happy for her. Rosalie mentioned how she'd love if Finley could attend Winterfest dinner with them when they come back from their senior trip. And Gwyneth said she'd love that. This was such a great conversation. Having a supportive mother was everything a girl could ask for. She hugged her mother, told her she loved and appreciated her, and that she would miss her on this trip. Gwyneth felt the exact same way. God, why did Rosalie spend most of her life prioritizing Joseph? 
He could never be as supportive and caring as Gwyneth is. She felt even more foolish than before. But whatever, no more thinking about that. The shuttle to the airport was here. And it was time for her to enjoy her final teen days in Salvadorada. Rosalie arrived very late to the jungle villa with her chaperones and classmates, including Courtney James, for some reason. Girl, have you and your baby even met Santos Royal? And of course, her boyfriend Finley broke. And the chaperones are playing rock, paper, scissors. Shouldn't you be helping the kids settle in and go over the rules? Courtney is in debilitating pain from her C-section and still chose to come on this trip. Why do I have a feeling she's going to be a terrible mother. The chaperones checked to make sure every student was in before lights out, but Rosalie and Finley weren't going to sleep. They were going to see what Salvadorada had to offer. They snuck out, heading to a local bar, Rosalie putting on a very skimpy outfit. She was so happy to be here with her boyfriend, whom she loved so much. She showed him her outfit, and of course, he loved it and supported her no matter what she wore. I mean, hey, since she's such a harlot, according to her dad, she may as well start acting like it. But she didn't say that aloud, but she did say something else to Finley. She wants to drink alcohol for the first time, and she wants Finley to help her. She knew that Salvadorado was notorious for not carding, so this would be the perfect opportunity. Finley was surprised all of Rosalie's life. She was set on being straight edge and not drinking whatsoever, mainly because of her dad. And that was the exact reason why she wanted to drink. She can't let her dad's alcoholism hold her back. His unhealthy relationship with alcohol is his business and has no effect on her. Life's short, and she wants to have fun and try new things. Instead of drinking for the first time with some random girls in college, wouldn't he rather her drink with him? Finley thought she made a good point. She shouldn't let Joseph hold her back. If that's what she really wanted, he was all in and would fully support her decision. He was just happy she trusted him. Together, they headed inside the bar. Finley checking out the menu to see what Rosalie would potentially like. He went ahead and ordered her a mango margarita and he ordered himself a Paloma. Rosalie was a bit nervous, taking a breather before reaching for the glass to take her very first sip of alcohol. Oh. Wow, this place is happening. And finally, Rosalie mustered up the courage to take her first sip. Wait. That's it. That's what alcohol tastes like, juice. This drink is delicious, though. She did feel warm and fuzzy. Was that supposed to happen? Finley told her it was completely normal before ordering them another round of drinks, along with feeling fuzzy. She was also feeling very flirty. She's just like me after one sip of wine. They took their second round of drinks with them outside. She was feeling great, so giggly and happy. Why on earth would drinking make her dad Joseph so angry? All she wanted to do was dance and maybe take it to the next step with Finley. But she couldn't do that in a house full of their peers and chaperones. So she shoved that thought aside. Finley was glad to see Rosalie having fun. She deserved it after everything she'd been through the past few days. Our air was lit and so was Finley. It was time to head back to the villa. Fucking Finley LMAO. Rosalie was sad to have come back. She wanted to drink some more and maybe go to a club. She was surprised Finley couldn't hang LMAO. Perhaps when their trip is over, they can go clubbing. She woke Finley up and the two of them dragged themselves inside before any of the chaperones could notice. She found her bank, finding her friend Santos already asleep in his, and struggled to pull her legs up the ladder. But how it felt so amazing once she was in that bed. Getting drunk was the shit. She couldn't wait to do it again. And something else she couldn't wait to do was to make woohoo to Finley. And she was planning on doing it soon. 